preschoolers. Welcome Hi. to Wednesday Kids. Nice to see you. Good <laughs> morning. And you and Benjamin too, Jody. So nice to see you guys. I know. It's nice to be here, Patsy. We're so excited to be here. <laughs> How are you this morning, Benjamin Bear? Yes, here he is. He's a happy little boy. <laughs> yeah. Is he ready to tell us a story? Well, yes, he is. Yay, he is. And he has brought one of his friends along today to tell the story as well. That's Benjamin, exciting, Benjamin. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, who did you bring, Benjamin? Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> right. Oh. Well, I love surprises. So why don't we go and sing a song and then we can see who Benjamin's surprise friend is. <laughs> That's so a good everybody idea. hop on up, do yes. some stretches, yes. get your musical instruments if you have them, and let's sing a song about how big and strong and mighty our God is. Yes. so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the trees, He made the seas, He made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. So big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Hey, Benjamin, I've forgotten again what the story is about. Can you tell me? Oh, that's right. The little lost sheep. Yeah, that's going to be a fun story. But if the story's about a little lost sheep, do you think we should get sheep? to tell the story with me. Would that be a good idea? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, well, thanks, Benjamin. I think I'll go looking for a sheep and see if I can find one. Okay, will you kids help me? Because I might need help to know what the sheep looks like. Alrighty? Okay, well, hmm, does a sheep go moo? Mm -mm. A sheep doesn't go moo. You're a cow. <laughs> I'll try again. Okay. Does a sheep go oink, 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 oink? <laughs> no. A sheep doesn't go oink, oink. A pig goes oink, oink. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Pinky Pig. It's nice to see you. Maybe we'll see you in another story. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Does a sheep go... Mm. <laughs> you are not a sheep. You are Eloise the elephant. <laughs> okay, I'll keep looking. Thanks, Eloise. Oh dear, what else? Maybe I'll find a sheep this time. Does a sheep go woof, 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 woof? Uh-oh, you're a dog. You don't go ba. You go woof, woof. <laughs> oh, kids, do you think I'll find a sheep soon? 
this is getting really tricky. Maybe you could help me if you make the noise of a sheep. And maybe then our little friend, Barbara, will find us. That's an ear. <laughs> there's another ear. <gasps> and there's two little eyes. And there's a little sheep nose. <laughs> we found Barbara. Hello. Nice to see you, Barbara. I know. You love it when you come and visit your friends at preschool, don't you? <laughs> well, Barbara. See, we're going to have a story about a little lost sheep. And because you're a sheep, we thought you would be the perfect one to help tell the story. Is that okay? Oh, yes, I love telling stories. Oh, Barbara, I'm so glad you do, because I really like having a helper. Okay, well, Barbara, let me think for a second. We've got the sheep, but we need a shepherd. How about I be the shepherd? Alrighty. Well, I better go and find something to make me look a little bit more like a shepherd. Okay, how about this? This is my special shepherd hat. Because when I'm outside in the sunshine, I don't get burned because I've got my special shepherd hat on. Okay, does that look good? Great. Okay, so now we've got a shepherd and a sheep. Um, what does a shepherd do, Barbara? Well, the shepherd makes sure that we've got lots of lovely grass to eat. Oh, grass. Okay, look, I wouldn't like to be eating grass, Barbara. Oh, grass is so yummy. Do you really like grass? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I love grass. Well, look, I just happened to have some for you. Mm, yummy, 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 yum, 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 yum. I like grass. Yummy. Well, Barbara, that's great, but you can't really help tell a story if you've got a mouth full of dandelions and grass. So I think we'd better have you finish that so we can tell the story. Okay. Uh, okay. And so what else does the shepherd do, Barbara? Oh, he makes sure we've got lots of lovely, nice water to drink. Water. Water's a very good idea. Water's very healthy for us. Here we go. Would you like some water? Hmm. Oh, don't do a burp. My goodness, you funny little Barbara. Okay, was that nice water? Oh, good. I'm glad. So that's what the shepherd helps to do. I see. So the shepherd helps to give you something to eat and something to drink and looks after you. That's really cool. Hmm, okay then. Well, what else does he do? He helps us and makes sure that no sheep are missing. Really? Boy, he must be pretty good at counting because there's lots of sheep, hey? Hmm. Well, are you good at counting, Barbara? Oh, yes, I am very good. I go to preschool and I know how to count. Mm -hmm. Well, should we count? Just like the shepherd would be counting. The shepherd would be counting his sheep to make sure no sheep are missing. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's count. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Okay, Barbara, you do the counting. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're doing well. Mm. Five's a big number. You're doing so well. Do you know any numbers after number five? Um, six, seven, uh, uh, you count.
counted to eight. It's really clever, Barbara. Oh, thank you. And, and, well, are there any other sheep or just eight sheep? Oh, no. I've got so many friends that I've met before. There's Rambo. Rambo. Cool. And Sean the sheep. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. And Shrek. Wooly. Daisy. Snowy. Amber. Oh, you've got lots of friends that are sheep. Mm-hmm. And I bet there's lots and lots more too. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That is so cool. And so the shepherd counts all the sheep. Mm-hmm. And what happens if they're, all the sheep aren't there? What happens if one of the sheep is missing? Or if he gets lost? What happens? Oh, I see. So the shepherd, will he start to then go looking for the sheep, the little lost sheep? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. I bet he gets a bit worried. Oh, yes. There's lots of places that a little sheep could go missing. He'd be a little bit scared. Oh, I bet he would. Oh, boy, the shepherd must be worried too. Oh, boy. So he'd be searching everywhere, wouldn't he? Oh, and I bet he'd get tired, but he'd keep going because that little, little sheep would be so precious to him. Oh, yes. Oh, well, did he find the little sheep? Oh, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, phew. Where did he find him? Oh, wow, Barbara, look, he found the little lamb, and the little lamb was hiding behind a rock. Oh, little lammy, are you feeling a little bit scared? <laughs> oh, little lammy. But the shepherd came, and the shepherd got you and got you safe away from hiding down behind the rock. And the shepherd was so, so, so happy. And the shepherd gave you a great big hug, didn't he, Lemmy? A great, great big hug. Oh, how wonderful. Barbara, where are you? Barbara, that is so exciting. Oh, I am so happy that the little lost sheep was found. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, you're giving the little lost sheep a hug too, aren't you, Barbara? Oh, well, do you know what? That's just like Jesus. Jesus loves us so much, and he is always with us, just like the shepherd was with the little lost sheep and he found him and when he found him he was so happy so happy <laughs> oh Barbara and little Lemmy thank you so much for helping me tell the story oh children guess what Barbara would like to pray now so shall we pray together with Thank you, Barbara. We're going to put our hands together and bow our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us so much. Thank you that you always look after us and that you are always with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> well, Barbara, that was a very nice prayer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Well, 
There was something else, wasn't there? Do you know what? Barbara just reminded me that Patsy has chosen some wonderful crafts for you to do this week with your grown ups. And I want to show you one of the crafts that you can make. Hold it a second. Oh, where is it hiding? Where is it hiding? Look, <laughs> you see, I am Jodie the sheep. <laughs> and you can be a sheep too, because you can make one of these with your growing ups. And you can be a ba ba. You can be a sheep. <laughs> so let's go and hear from Patsy all the other crafts that you'll be able to do as well. And you can send us a photo on Facebook and show us you looking like a sheep. <laughs> bye bye, my friends. See you later. Thank you so much, Jodie and Benjamin. Those crafts look so cool. And I yeah. might even have to make one of those sheep masks this week. And preschoolers, <laughs> if you make one with your big person, we'd love to see it. So send us a photo or send us a video or you could put it on Facebook. But we'd love to see you in your mask. <laughs> yeah. We've even got cool. some more stuff for you to do. We've got some games. We've got some other crafts we've got a puzzle oh wow maze and oh it's going to be so much fun to do with your big person this week awesome. so we can't wait to see what you do but until then we're going to leave you with the sun and we will see you on uh social media with your your pictures of you on social media i should say or we'll see you next Sunday. Yeah. See you soon. And let's do a song called Take Care of Me. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Bye, my friends. Bye. Yeah.